So this short video hopefully we will try to fight the borrow checker in Rust. Uh, what is the goal? Here we have this RC stand for this context that must follow these two rules. Like in this part of the code it, it is okay, this part of the code is working. So RC must be defined before the call to a text statement, so this one and reply, so this one. However, it must be dropped before this call over here. Uh, must be defined here and here because this is what uh, is necessary. So we are not going into the ATs, but it's necessary for the logic of the software that we define that. Must be dropped before because uh, the borrow check. So if you do like this, and then we just check what happened. Our error, but the important one is this one. Uh, no. Uh, if you do it like that. Okay. Pop up 336. This is there I want to show and cannot move out of DBK because it's borrowed. So borrow my BUC here and the structure RC. So when this RC is dropped, my need this part over here that however is move out by memory forget. So we cannot. So the way I fit it in this part of the code is like this using scope. So we define RC here, we do all our work, and ERC goes out of scope, and eventually we could forget the DBK and we return the result from here. And this is what we're going to do. We don't care too much about the details. This part of the I don't believe we care more. So we're going to try to do the same things over here. Uh, yes, it is a huge mess, this code. But I think it's a good idea now, it's not anymore. So we have exactly the same model. We do have our let Let's see here. Oh wait, another interesting error. Uh, I was trying to do the same things without the final RC. This variable. What was happening? What's happening? What would happen is that we do this call, this RC returns something, that something is dropped just over here. That's in this part of the code because we never use it. So the code actually does not work. So in this part we need to have our RC. This must leave for this query, this function here. But also for this reply here. But must be dropped before ER. So if you compile it now, you should get an error. Which is the same sub sub error before. So DBK, uh, the RC is alive, it was not, DBK, uh, RC was not dropped. We try to forget, but this part was, is still borrowed because we didn't yet drop uh, RC. And we need to model to with this code around. So while we're here, we'll try to make something a little simpler. So we can this context here is always the same and then for technical reason it was left like this, but we don't need it. So we can immediately change this part over here. should be the same as that error. 
good. But it's a little simple to follow. So let's try to do water info. So our T squared flow where it is right on code here. That is either you do some checks over here and then eventually you see the this part over here or this part over here, which is some wrap and turn over here. This is well when when you start to wear rust eventually you start to abuse of uh, matches and then all this nasty stuff and you can see your code going like this like in diagonal uh, which is uh, hard to read usually I try to avoid now other times since I already have it yeah. so where we are now we are now at the point where is the world check fails first thing we can try is just to move this out so maybe over here wait where was it uh, this one over here let's see Yeah, I can really stay, it does not work because the it didn't auto it did not auto format the code. It's complaining about uh, about this stuff. So eventually you cannot do that because this is inside a match. So if you want to forget the BK, you need to forget where it's defined. So the last place I see should be here. And then we return wrong stuff. Oh, then that. We can just not compile it. Oh, God. Let's see, sorry. So we try to return the result on memory forget, which is not what we want. So one can try to do nasty stuff. Like, let Let's see for this part over here. You forget maybe less. Let's see what happened over here. Same error before, that didn't change nothing from the logic before. What we need is we need another scope for this part over here. So a possibility is doing something like this. Let's see. That has, has equal to all the stuff over here. Then we never forget, then we told us uh, some error somewhere. assignment so later so if I don't close this if I don't put the semicolon in here what happened that this result will not be returned inside of here which is uncommitted this code is very similar this time does not complain but yeah it is not the best code ever Even so what happened at this point? Uh, RC is defined inside this scope. This scope over here. So the start here and finish here. You see the parentheses that are aligned. So this RC is defined over here, which match check what we want. Defined for the duration of uh, uh, do query for this create after the return and also for this reply but goes out of scope here where we forget the dbk so this is good and actually compile so let's see if you control compile yeah 
do this too. So, well, let's do this. Um, can we do a little better? Oh, first of all, can I go PP? Uh, Twitch U6 is where we are working. Yes, it's complaining. Return the result of a let ban from a block, consider returning this expression directly. So, much result here. This, this letter result and I'm turning 14. Turn 40 should be this one. Good. So, we can just do. We can follow up really quick and help us. So, we can remove this one and actually remove just this. Let's see now. Um, this part of here, do we need to scope? I believe more than nothing, yes. Because here, what we are putting into result, and eventually we are using here, all these things over here. Let's try to remove it, make it simpler. So, our result has, and then it's this one. This is exactly what we just removed, but at this point, we can remove this one. And this one. And we need to assign here. So you see the code from diagonal start to push back. Let's see if this thing works. Ah no. This must be mutable as opposed to before. Put it back to mutable. Good. Also can we do better than this? No, no, I don't see anything. What I don't like, what time is it? It's already 12 minutes. But it is all for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. So, what we did is to play with the scope to have this RC, follow what we want, so to be defined for do query. Uh, create that to return and especially reply but not for me I forgot dbk so why because actually I can show you over, over here let's see if this yeah, it's ugly so our problem was that dbk this is git diff so the diff the red part is what was before the green part is what is now so dbk this RC was defined over here, and then when it goes out of scope, before, yeah, when it goes out of scope, no, when memory forget that to take ownership of DBK, it cannot because it was used by in this call over here. What we did was to push this call inside different scope, inside this letter scope. So uh, when this scope exit roughly at this point roughly here, uh, DBK is released and can be safely forgot. Let's go make it simple in the code. So RC here is forget online uh, over here. DBK is not anymore borrowed, so can be take so memory forget can take the ownership. So I hope this is clear. This is the whole point of us to make sure that uh, what you get, what you borrow, is is safe to do. Okay, that's it. If you have questions, let me know. Thanks.